So in this topic, we'll cover the interactive charts of uh, MyTSR. Uh, as as the uh, name suggests, right, charts is more of a visual stuff. So we'll spend minimal amount of time for uh, this uh, slide coverage and we'll straight away jump into hands-on with the charts. Uh, so what it covers, it covers five minutes to quarterly tick. Uh, you can add as many technicals as you want. Uh, you, you, can, you can use custom uh, technicals, for example, uh, 27-day uh, moving average or MACD uh, instead of 12, 26, 9, you can use 13, 30, 10 or whichever you want. Uh, you can also compare stock with another stock or indices uh, uh, or index. Uh, uh, then you can tile chart. So if you want to see two charts one by one uh, together, then you can also use interactive charts for that. You can see technical and fundamental data in one chart. That's also possible. Uh, you, you can toggle between candlestick, line chart, hiking ashi, and uh, open high low close. Uh, that option is there. You can do some customization on chart. You can save the charts after you do all the uh, research and analysis. And then you can download the chart. So friends, in this topic or in this part of the session, we'll cover charts in my TSR. So the menu for chart is this one. Now, uh, starting with very simple and taking it beyond. Uh, this option is available. This option is available to choose the stock. So let's say the stock which is chosen is TCS. If you see in the previous slide, the last uh, equity that we selected was TCS with 100 day moving average. So those two settings are retained. So let's change it to something else. Let's go to HDFC, HDFC bank. So this is how you can change it. And now the options available here are basically you have an option of choosing from five minutes to quarterly. In this section, you have an option of choosing to candlestick and other options. Uh, this is the period where you can choose it from one day to 10 year period. It's it, on 10 years, it looks like this. Uh, these are the settings. These are the stocks which are available in your either portfolio or watch list. Let's say, uh, so if you want to toggle to uh, ACC, you can just go by this. If you want to go with another settings, which we'll see in a short while, uh, you want to see the analysis, technical analysis of ACC on monthly tick. So the technical analysis, what we have seen in the equity page is also available here. Uh, then uh, you have an option of compare the stock. So let's say we want to compare, uh, let's, let's compare two stocks. Uh, let's say TCS with Infosys to see how the two peers are doing. I'll change it to monthly daily and uh, okay that's fine compare with infosys compare with infi so this is how the two stocks are doing they are almost following each other uh, over a period of uh, last five years so this is how you, you if you wish to add another stock let's say you want to add wipro you add wipro see how wipro is doing so all the three stocks of the same sector are pretty much behaving in the same way. You can remove one of them and you want to compare how uh, TCS is vis-a-vis uh, -vis Nifty to see how TCS has performed vis-a-vis -vis Nifty. So if you see TCS has definitely outperformed Nifty uh, in last five years. So this is how you would typically see uh, now basically comparison of two stocks. There's another option which is tile. So if you see, uh, if you want to see the two stocks side by side, so this is the option where you see the two stocks. Uh, you want to add uh, another moving average or let's say another indicator, MACD. So you see, you have an option of adding the indicators and see the values side by side. Uh, there's another option uh, in, 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 in the charts which is stack. Stack comes one below another one. So if you see, this is your TCS and this is your uh, S&P uh, Nifty, Nifty 50. So the, this is, you can remove it if you don't want this, you can remove it or you can again compare with another stock. Uh, so that's, that's about stock comparison. Uh, now comes is adding indicators, technicals. So you can, so there, there, are, there are few commonly used technicals which are available uh, over here. Uh, Let's say you want to add a, add a 50 uh, EMA, you can go and add 50 EMA. That, that, this, this is how it appears. And once you selected an EMA and you select a period, 
uh, the values, uh, the values come here, open high low close values for that particular date, EMA, uh, and all, all those information is available here. Uh, MSCD and the MSCD signal line, those values are also available here as a ready reference and some may use it for other purpose. Now I've, I've chosen EMA 100. Uh, I feel that that's not the right one. I need to change it to, uh, let's say 20. So I can easily go and change it to 20, disclose it. So 20 day uh, moving average has come. So let me close to keep it simple and start from very, very simple and minimal. So uh, the EMAs that we have here, uh, if I wish to change the color, the option of changing the color is here. I, I wish to change it to let's say green. Uh, and this being a chart for 10 years is obviously not the best uh, view for daily charts. So I'm changing it to six months to get a better view of, of uh, uh, the chart. Now, an interesting thing over here is at the bottom, there's volume uh, on the day when the price is higher than previous day, then the volume is green. Otherwise the volume is in red color. If there's no change in the price, then, that, then it becomes gray. Not sure if we have an option over here where there's no change in the price. Uh, obviously for a volatile stock like TCS, it's very difficult to get, but on low volatile stocks, you see some gray volume. Uh, how to change, if, if you wish to change the colors, then you have an option of changing the colors. Uh, you, want, you can change it to a much, so uh, we are down color, you can change it to much darker color if you wish. And if you want to change it to, uh, change this to a much darker color, then you can change that as well. Uh, if you want to reset price volume, you can reset it. It goes back to the uh, factory settings or the default settings. So this is how you can add uh, averages. Uh, another option of adding average is, uh, let's say you go here in the zoom button, you see the two averages getting are already here. I'll close it. Uh, I do it again. We have an option of choosing few different moving averages. So let's stick to uh, SMA here for time being. I choose 15. Then again, the option is close price. You can do it on close price. You can do it on open high lows, high plus low by two, HLC by three, OHLC by four, and volume. Now volume would a vo volume will come over here along with the volume. So this is how 15 days moving average. So there's a breach for a few times, but in last couple of sessions, uh, the volume is much lower than the average volume in last uh, 15 days. So this is how you, you incrementally add uh, moving averages. Uh, the other option is technicals over here. When you go, uh, then you have quite a few different options. For example, uh, let's go to a parabolic SAR. Parabolic SAR, again, uh, over here, these, this is the increment and this is the maximum value. So you can go and change it. Let's say we change it to 0.3 and we see the results. Draw, the, the results has changed. You have an option of changing the color. You have an option of uh, using the fill color. Let's say you don't want uh, red, it's too, uh, too bright for you. You can change it to something else. And then you can also unfill it. So this is filled. So when you say unfill, okay, um, somehow it's not working. That's fine. But th that's how the parabolics are would appear. Uh, looking at a little more complicated, uh, looking at more complicated pattern, let's say TVAP, then again, you have an option of start day period. You can go to uh, other, other different uh, options, which we'll cover in details when we cover TVAP. Uh, you can go to Bollinger. Bollinger, you have option of uh, these many options. Again, the field choice is there, which field you want Bollinger band to be created on. Uh, similarly, you can go and play with other indicators. Uh, you can add as many indicators, as many overlays, as many uh, down indicators. Let's say you want to add ADX along with RSI, along with the uh, relative vigor index. Then you want to add, uh, let's say, RSI smooth, Williams. So there's no limit. So uh, they, they keep coming down one below another. There's no limit of, on number of, uh, uh, num number of indicators that you add. What, what, once you are on a certain date, the, all the values related to that, whether it's ADX, super trend, and so on and so forth, get appears here in the same color what they appear below. Uh, 
you can go here and change it. Let's say 14 is not something right for you. You are looking for 21. Then you can say draw. The chart changes to 21. Uh, you, you have an option of moving the chart, uh, moving Williams up. It goes one level up. You can go one level up. Or you have an option of uh, basically expanding. Let's say you are looking for Williams uh, uh, R and you are looking to uh, have a bigger view of it. Then you can always expand it. So this is how you can expand uh, Williams to get a better view. Once you are happy, then you can go back and uh, all, all your uh, indicators of your choice is here. Now, uh, having seen uh, technical indicators, obviously there are too many out here uh, to, uh, to, be, uh, uh, to, uh, to give, give value. It was just for demonstration purpose. So I'm, I'm unselecting all the options just to keep it simple. Okay, so this is neat and clean chart with just volume moving average over here. Uh, then is financial data. When you click on financial data, there's, there's a message for you. Financial data is best viewed in quarterly chart because it doesn't make sense of uh, having a one week or two week uh, financial data for a yearly data. So let's say we, we are looking for something of uh, uh, something from income statement. I'm looking for um, net income. Is a, is a good parameter to look at. And uh, also I'm looking at the, the total expense and total income. So these are three parameters which can give me a good high level information about how the stock is performing. Obviously you can choose what you are looking for. I'm going to 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. So this is how the, the parameters that we have chosen uh, is coming, total operating expenses, revenue. So uh, we'll give you a bird's eye view of how the stock has performed uh, when, when uh, any of these parameters are going up, going down. And uh, so that's, uh, that's another way of uh, looking at the chart. Uh, I'm again, taking it out for a very simplistic purpose of explaining the other stuff. Now, let's say this is a trend line, which we want to see. Uh, I want to draw. I think this is a good support level and which I want to highlight. I can, I can use a horizontal line. I can use a vertical line if uh, I wish to. Uh, a, a vertical line can be added here. You can undo the lines that you have just added. Uh, you can draw a trend line. Let's say there's a trend line, which I think is a good one. So the trend line is drawn. You can move the trend line. You can extend it at any point of time. You can move across trend line. You can remove it. You can add Fibonacci points here. Fibonacci points, let's say, you feel that this, these are two points from where you should be viewing it. So uh, the, the values comes out here, 0% retracement, 23, and so on and so forth. Uh, you have an option. You have an option of making extension as well as uh, projection of Fibonacci. Uh, you, you can, if you select this, then all the points will come uh, up to 361 points and my uh, 261 over here. All the points, if you want to show the value, uh, then uh, if you want to see the values, uh, where does value come? One moment. Show values. Okay, I'll have a look at that. But that's how you will add the Fibonacci. Same way, uh, you can add pivot points. Right? Uh, then, uh, so th th these are some of the very commonly used basic functionality. Once you think that you got the right combination, you can do a save. Uh, you can give a meaningful name. Uh, the meaningful name would be is 15 SMA and MACD, save it. So your setting is saved. Now you should be seeing that setting as one of the options here. Then you have, you can modify the settings at any point of time. You can download the chart. Let's say you, this is the chart, uh, right chart for you. You can save it. So it saves and uh, it appears uh, like this, the, the, the settings, your line chart, your moving average and your MACD that appears here and you can use it for your further research and analysis purpose. You can save it on server, uh, want to save this chart on server so that you can share. Uh, once you say, 
uh, once you say uh, uh, save, uh, uh, then the link link of the chat will appear, and you can you can always uh, share with your friends with of what you have done. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, so th 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 then there's an option of let's say we go back to uh, this thing uh, one year chart one year chart with daily tick. So this is a, a decent, let's say you want to zoom into this particular point, use the mouse wheel, uh, zoom in, zoom out, both these options are there. You can use this button as well to zoom in, zoom out, or you can move left, you can move right. Uh, the options of moving uh, left and right is also available. So th th that's typically a very good high level overview of uh, our interactive charts. Friends, we hope you like the functionality which is available in the charts, uh, whether it's tick selection, whether it's compared to other stocks, or whether it is uh, on uh, uh, basically different technical and <coughs> fundamental parameters. One thing we may have forgotten to mention is that chart is streaming chart. That means you don't have to refresh anytime during the market hours. As soon as the data is available, the chart is automatically refreshed uh, in all time frames during the market hours. And thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.